Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ancient Chozo. In the last episode, we started the game out, made our way to Zeb's, and now we're in Brinstar, and we just defeated... Buzznuts. Well, Spore Spawn. He's dead now. You wake there, buddy? Nah, he isn't getting up. He's a little tired from that fight. Anyways, you have to do a really precise wall jump to get out of the water here. At least out of that particular spot. I did do a test play of this, so I should be all set. I say as I'll die from the first three enemies. They'll beat me to death. Okay, so what's our reward gonna be? Well, let's fall down and find out. For all our efforts, we get the almighty, the all-powerful... Super missiles. Yeah, nothing too dramatic there. Just click. You don't even get to hear an item fanfare for the first item you collect. It's just a click. Just the sound of you switching items. Just a... Yeah, thank you for hitting me while I was demonstrating such things. Uh, also, the because this is off of Project Base, we can use our charge beam to tractor beam things in. With super missiles, we can now open green doors in one shot. Also, we can use super missiles to blow open red doors in one shot, but since this is Project Base, that's not really an issue for us, is it? Let's just make our way out now. Yeah, watch out for dude there. He'll want to take a chunk out of our health. Probably a small one, but still. I don't want to lose HP. Yes, I have to put emphasis on the H like everyone else does. It's not HP, it's HP. Because reasons. Anyways, down we go. We can't actually go the normal way we would in Super Metroid. Funny enough. Be sure to shoot that caterpillar, by the way. He's in that pipe. You don't want to make your day suck. Alright, let's head on down, and we got an item in this room, but this is the thing that really pissed me off about this hack. You'll see this item orb here, and you'll be like, oh, let's bomb the wall, it's cracked, but oh no, speed booster blocks. Now, this is the biggest problem. I know I may have been a bit nitpicky with the whole restrictions thing, that's not as bad as I made it out to be, but this here is truly suck. If I shot a missile through this and did that glitch where you can kind of glitch a missile through a bit of an object to hit something, that would be the Spacer Beam, our first beam upgrade in the original. But we won't be getting this for a while, and I didn't know this was the Spacer Beam my first playthrough. Which, by the way, if you couldn't guess it, oh, watch out, we got Fudge Boy there. And those spikes really hurt, by the way, so don't fall into them. I kind of got a little hasty. So that's why I took some damage, just like that. So I get for not paying attention to the road. Get hit by a slow-moving car. Fantastic, Samus. You're looking great out there. But it's the person controlling you that makes you look bad. Details, details. I will open that up for later. Because like I said, we will be back there later. Because I don't want to miss the spacer beam this time. I didn't get that till the end of the game when it was pretty much useless. So yeah, I think that could have been maybe designed a bit better, have it showing so people at least knew what was what it was. Because up until this point, behind speed booster blocks and super missile blocks have pretty much been just missile packs. So you're probably just thinking, ah, it's just another stupid missile pack or maybe an energy tank. And you ain't going to be too worried about it, meaning you'll miss out on a beam upgrade. I hope that gets changed in future versions, otherwise this game is pretty much good as is. Unless he wants to open it up a bit, for some reason. Whatever. Let's just drop down. To the left is an energy restore. I'm gonna open that in case we ever need it. I'm not worried about our super missiles. We'll get those filled right back up. In no time, I tell ya. Watch out, these spikes hurt, by the way. Thank you for the super missiles. That platform there will break under our weight. So try not to stand on it. Because like I said, those spikes really hurt. And those, uh... I forgot your names. Yapping Maws, that's it. We'll drag you into the water and you'll take a shit ton of damage. Same with this floor. Watch out, it's breakable, so you'll want to run across it or you'll fall into Spikeville. And that'll pretty much spell your end because that's really hard to get out of there without dying. And because we only have the power suit, we're going to take maximum damage from everything. Alright, let's make a pit stop down here into a new area. Norfair. And this place looks really good. Though there is one little bit of nitpickiness I have about it. 
it's just a nitpick, but you see those spikes right there? Those, I think they're stalactites? If you touch them, you'll take damage as if they were spikes. So, plus one to realism, plus one to my nitpickiness. I think it's cool he has that kind of detail. I don't know why I opened that with the super missile door. Samus was really pissed. Alrighty, we have to actually bomb this item pedestal to head down, or you can just do that. I want to get that. I didn't mean to fall all the way. Damn it, Samus. How dare you not defy gravity? How dare you not defy physics? And with that, we get high jump boots. Also, watch out. I have no idea why this is a spike. When I first came down here, I thought the high jump boots were fake, and I thought they were damaging me. Yeah, that's fantastic. I know. I'm as smart as they come. Huh, yeah, and instead of going down, he'll actually go up and around there because we didn't kill him earlier. Whatever, we have to kill him, by the way, to open that door. Save point to the right, but there's nothing we can do that way, but I will open it for whatever future use it has. Alright, come here, buddy. I want to get some super missiles back. They're pretty rare, and they're a pretty rare commodity. Now, there is a beam weapon to our left, but that's been blocked off, and we can't get it till we have the original proper upgrade. No sequence breaking for that, folks. Though I don't think people really care. People aren't really a fan of the ice beam, because, yes, it does make your beam stronger, but in a sense, everything takes an extra hit. So if you are going to kill it in two hits, you'll freeze it first, then kill it. If you're going to kill it in one hit, you'll freeze it first, then kill it. So... Enemies that would die in one hit will take two hits, which, when you have the plasma beam... Yeah, I know, spoilers. For the three people that haven't watched my Let's Plays. If you have the plasma beam and the ice beam, most things will die in one hit with just the plasma beam and wave combos. But, if you have the ice beam equipped, a lot of things will take an extra hit for no, un for no good reason. Like, I can understand why you need to freeze an enemy to make them into platforms, but you think that could have been better done. Make it to where you, if there is a platform, an enemy that needed to be frozen into a platform, just make it one specific enemy and use them when it's time, you know? So you could have the stronger, the extra damage from the ice beam, and then you could not freeze everything and have everything take an extra hit, so everybody wins. Extra damage, no annoying extra hit. It really doesn't bug me, though. Now watch out for googly eyes. They're all over this place. Right, let's jump on up. And then bomb on our th way through this passage. Now where we need to go is actually down through this pipe. But to the right is an energy restore and missile restore. Sadly, missiles only. Yeah, that guy wants to swipe our faces off, so let's kill him. Thank you. That blue block looks cool. I know it's just a background effect in the middle of it, but it kind of likes it looks like a power core or something. Like it's has some kind of energy to it. Like it was supposed to power something up, you know? Like a battery. I don't know. I think too much about it. But this... I just love the detail that's put into this game. Even if it's minute like that. It just looks cool. It looks nice. And I know people are used to me, you know, doing 100% runs. Yeah, I nicked my fucking toe on that and it did like 50 damage. Anyways, I know people are used to me doing 100% uh, runs of these games, but not this one. This one's... I'm just doing this for fun. It's a fun game I just want to go through normally. I just don't feel like 100% right now. You know I will eventually do that later. Anyways, we got Big Boy in town. We got the big man on campus. It's crazy, you fat tub of lard, you fucking couch potato. Yeah, how dare... I hate that friggin' claw he has. I think it does an effective job of blocking all my missiles. Come on, open your fat face. Eat up. Samus is going to feed you good. After she's done getting hit by everything. Yeah, I did a test play and this went a hundred times smoother. I didn't take a point of damage either. Of course, when I'm recording, everything goes to foobar. Everything goes foobar. Whatever, it still went smooth enough. We beat him fast, we just took some damage. Yay. So what's our prize? It's the Varia suit. So it's pretty nice. It looks more like its Metroid Prime counterpart, which I think the creator was going for. It's kind of a mix between Other M and, you know, Metroid Prime. I think up there is a shortcut, but I don't think we need to take it. 
So let's just head down to our next destination. We have to take this long, meandering path for some reason. Which doesn't bug me, because it will lead us to a nice item. Let's grab their health so we can restore ourselves. Thankfully, I don't think there are any rooms that really utilize those fireflies for light. Ouch, that did 40 damage. Thank you. Samus wasn't feeling it. She needed a little pep. I don't know why this pipe's here. There's no items or anything. I don't know. I guess it's just keeping up with consistency or something. You can go in most pipes, so we'll make it where you can go into most pipes. Even if they lead nowhere. Alright, so give me your delicious super missiles. Ouch, I didn't know he was an infinite spawner, thank you. I meant to go in the top pipe, but I was being stupid again. I think we can take the bottom pipe, I'm not sure. This is the way I went when I first test played. Okay, since I can't apparently bomb jump today, there we go. I was going to try to mid-air morph. Let's just head left. Stop making stupid mistakes. So I'm making plenty of those. Yeah, usually when you turn on the camera, it's- Whoa! I assume there were supposed to be spikes here, or maybe this should have been solid. Whatever, now we know that's there. Anyways, we get an energy tank for all our efforts, and a way back to the start of all this. So we can head back down into Norfair and explore its depths. Thank you. I like getting hit. Samus likes to die. It's an important part of her mission. Go to Zeb's. Try to stop everything. Die. And she has that one, like, highlighted in green so you know it's important. It's like green. It's mission critical that she dies. Alrighty, Norfair is quite the big place, and we have to take a whole bunch of different paths, but pretty much when you play this, get this in your head. Think of, I'm going to be taking the normal pathway through the original game. No sequence breaking at all. So let's get moving. There's a, a reserve tank above us, but we can't get that for a while because, as you see, we have to go around. And we won't be going around for some time, actually. So let's just make our way through spiky, cavey Norfair. I think this place looks really good. I like the cave aesthetic. Makes it really look like this place was, a, was like, oh, I don't know. It just looks really nice. I keep seeing the number 69, by the way. Our right left just leads us back. We want to go to the right. Well, of course, it's a side scroller. Where else are you going to go? Left? Yes. Yeah, I keep forgetting those spikes hurt us. Now, we can charge shot these dudes to death, and I'd recommend it so you can make a jump over this without getting knocked into the lava. Let's use your missile. Come here. And you have a lot of health, don't you? There we go. Let's see if a super missile will take him out. There we go. Oh, and they give us super missiles too, so let's use that. You learn something new every day. Now watch out for fire boar there. Just to spit his crap at us, I'll fall in the lava anyway. Samus was feeling a little cold, it's still winter. No, it's no longer fall, it's winter now. It was pretty much fall when I did a zero mission or whatever. Now it's winter. So Samus had to warm up a bit. The, hot from, the heat from Norfair wasn't enough. She needed to go in the lava, too. It looks like macaroni and cheese. It looks like cheese. Someone's really hungry, and they're boiling up some cheese. Would boiled cheese be any good? I'm curious now. Someone let me know if you've ever tried boiled cheese. Now, there is a dude there we can't kill, but he does kind of act like a refill station. I don't think the intention for him was to be unkillable at this point, but... We will be able to do so later, just not right now. Anyways, let's go in here and stop by the save point, because we're going to call it an episode. So what else awaits us here in Norfair? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Metroid Ancient Chozo.